Hi guys, welcome back to the news. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to Bliss Channel and do not forget to give us a thumbs up. It is time to get the electoral system right. My people, my people, it is easy said than done. Now today, Fao Yans day back, Nigerian leaders are very good in talking. They are very good in analyzing. But when it comes to implement, implementation, it is zero. Anyway, let's hear the content of the news. After all is said and done, Nigeria has to move forward, but not without a strong commitment to advance democracy. Citizens expect President Bola Tinibu to do something revolutionary about the fundamental that threatens civil rules. He has to radically improve on the system he made to ensure that in four years citizens don't have to wait for courts to determine winners of elections. For a man who has participated in elections since 1993 and a notable pro-democracy activist, he has a duty to ensure that the loopholes politicians exploit to rig elections are blocked. In his tenure, the electoral process should go full electronic without gishes occurring to tarnish taxable trust and resources. Nigerians who live in foreign countries should begin to vote. What Tinibu holds the country and democracy is to urgently inject credibility and trust into the system. Many have lost faith, particularly young voters, but the country has to move forward. Conforming to a fraudulent tradition, last week the president appointed nine new resident electoral commissioners for the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, who will serve for a term of five years each, subject to the confirmation of the Senate. And it is likely that before the President's first tenure expires, more rect would be appointed as those currently in office serve out their terms or get reappointed. This is the tradition since 1999 that allows the president to nominate or appoint the share of INEC as well as fill other sensitive positions, thereby creating room for the president to control the INEC chairman on what to do, since the president is now the boss of the INEC chairman. President Tinibu cannot continue in that discredited route if he means well for democracy. One cannot stop referring to the Justice Uwais panel recommended on appointment into INEC. That is a crucial point, but no president has bothered. Even the National Assembly is not interested. And when the nominees are presented for scrutiny, they will all pass because they are likely sympathizers of the ruling party. The president ought to know better where to begin the crusade to sensitize the electoral system. The temptation to feed 
loyalist is very in every politician desire no doubt about that but at a time like this when democracy is threatened all around africa's most populous country let it not be business as usual president tinibu and his party men should stop boasting about 2023 elections being free and fair let here now be genuine effort to revisit reports of previous panels that were put together to debate how to enhance the electoral system former president umar ru yadwa was not ashamed to confess that the election of 2007 were fraudulent even when he was the major beneficiaries. For INEC, let them take note and seek assistance from article on how to authenticate candidates' credentials. INEC cannot pocket those billions of naira and fail to properly scrutinize documents. It is a shame. As for Peter, Obi and the obedience. The last one year was eventful and rewarding for the obedient despite the outcome at the presidential election petition tribunal and the Supreme Court. Peter Obi, candidates of the Labour Party, made the party stand out of the shadow the owners had consigned it for years. In the past, Owners were just content using the party to trade and make money from unserious presidential governorship candidates. But with Obi on the ballot, things changed. Even without the mega money, other candidates and parties threw into the race. The Obi movement went full throttled in the last election. Obi did make any expressive commercial outing in the media. No heavy media budget, no outstanding newspaper and television campaigners, just legwork. Yes, of course, the free to hear social media was agog. So, my people, kindly give your thought on this. Thank you.